G'day guys and welcome to the Sunday Beginner Series. As promised, as I started on the rakes, I am moving on to part two or three of the styles of rakes and the techniques to use them and different methods. And I'm moving on to one of my favourite rakes to use and one that honestly doesn't take a whole lot of skill to use. And I am talking about the rockers this is the l rake or the city rake and it is one of the rocking rakes now it's designed as a lifter so you're going to be lifting those pins to the shear line and as i said in the other video it is designed to simulate a keys bitting so it's quite a simple simple rake to use and one of my favorites i love trying to open locks with one of these picks now the reason why I say it's one of the most simplest to use and doesn't take a whole lot of skill is because you can use light tension or you can use heavy tension with this um, to bully those pins in. Some locks you'll have to use light, some you'll have to add a bit more tension to it, but it is an awesome, awesome pick. So when it comes to your rockers, you can see I've got the Sparrows cutaway here, or the Sparrows acrylic see-through so as you can see it kind of simulates and spaced out to roughly about the same spacings as the pins it's a little bit off but that's all right and if i slide in just like a key or a pick it's going to lift these pins up and down now you could probably use this one in a scrubbing motion but it's not really designed for that it's designed as a lifter so you're going to rock backwards and forwards and as you can see it's moving pins up and down or you can go straight up and down or you can try you know an angle and straight up and down and other angles this is designed to try and do as many combinations of movements and heights in the shortest possible time to play all the num different numbers and hopefully get a successful open so I've got some couple little padlocks here. I've got a Burek Archer, I believe that's called, the Magno. Everyone's favourite little master lock fortress. It's very simple to open with anything. And I've got an Avis TI, uh, 54 TI-30. It's a little titanium. Um, let's see what else can I try. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's have a go at a Master Lock 140. Now these will lower your chances of a successful open because they contain security pins. And as you know, security pins are there to try and make your life a little bit more difficult or harder to pick a lock. Spools are great for single pin picking because they tell you when they need to be picked. Um, but when it comes to rocking, it is a bit harder to get a successful open but we'll try one of them anyway uh, also try a six pinner this is the federal super contains six standard pins and um just for the fun of it let's try the lock lab pack lock that I won all right so to begin with Let's lock up these little ones. And we'll start off with the Burg Archer. So, bottom of the keyway. Going to use light tension with this one. I'm going to slide the pick in. Add my, and that's as far as it will go. So, some locks that won't go all the way in. I'm going to add light tension. And I'm just going to rock backwards and forwards on this one. My tension will stay in. Which it seems to be caught. Alright, let's give it a bit of a recock. Got an open. So it is very, very simple. Going to master lock 
Fortress. Again, same tensioner. A little bit of a rock. And we've got an open. So with these, I'm just doing the... Like, this kind of rocking motion in there. For these little ones. Go for a recock because that tension has slipped. And I did again. As you can hear those pins dropping when I like the other tensioner. So sometimes you do need to reset. And I don't know why this tensioner keeps slipping. Like it is. I don't know if that's bent or what. Alright, let me grab another tensioner because that one's just slipping around some shopping. I'll try the small one for this. Oh, I just slipped that one in that opened. Just slip the pin in, the pick in. Alright, now let's try a six pin uh, all standards. And this one, the bidding isn't too bad. We've got a high cut right in the middle there. But some low cuts, so it may put up a little bit more of a fight. So I'm going to go all the way in. Being standards for my tension will fit. I'm going to add a bit heavier tension on this one. And this one, with that rocking motion, I'm also going to move my pick forwards and backwards just to try and get on each one of those pins. Right, let's go for a reset. That tension just keeps slipping. So we'll try the medium. Again, forwards and backwards and the tension has slipped. Well, so with that bidding it may put up a bit more of a fight. Right, let's just try a bit heavier tension. I can feel the pins binding now. Try straight up and down. This bidding may be putting us a bit of a disadvantage. Let's try a small. May not slip as much. Go on, get in there. But rocking is one of my favourite ways. I like sitting there trying to rock a lock open. And there we go. So, sick pinner, take a little bit more time. Alright, now let's move on to some small pins with the 140. This will probably, you know, put up a bit more of a fight. We may not get an open, but again, light tension. And a lot of it does come down to bidding as well. If you've got extremely high, low, high, low bidding, it does make it a bit harder. Which this 140 kind of does have. You have no luck, give it a reset. And try again. So 
sometimes I'll move the padlock around as well just to try all these different combinations. Let's go forwards and backwards. Probably not. Because this one I know does have some pretty good bidding for a master lock. So, spools does take a little bit longer. Now let's try a pack lock. This I'm pretty sure will contain some serrated pins which will make it even more difficult to get a successful open. Right, large tensioner should work. And that's what our bidding looks like. So low the front right up to high at the back. So a bit more difficult but let's have a go. Alright, I'm going to be shocked if I can rock this one open. Again, I'm going to go forwards, and this time I'm using lighter tension as well. But my chances for a successful open have dropped a lot more because of the security pins. Reset. And we're probably not going to get an open because security pins do make it a lot, lot harder to rock open locks. But that's what they're designed for. But as you can see, it's a pretty simple method to use. Uh, if I grab this cutaway and let's go light tension and I'll show you again. So you've got your standard rocking style so back and forwards and as you can probably tell I've just overset pin 2 and as soon as I put that pick in there it oversets um, so you can do yeah your basic forwards up and down forwards and backwards you can go straight up and down and try and set the pins that way move your pick out and back in as you're rocking like this sorry it's had to uh, race it so forwards and backwards as you're going out straight up and down as you're going out and back in or you can just you know really give it a good shake around, try all these different combinations as possible, different heights, focus just pushing at the back on your way out or forwards, you know it's all about playing the statistics, trying to get as many combination as possible, but there you go that is pretty much rocking, it's just yeah as many movements, trying to lift those pins as quick as possible and trying all the different combinations to simulate a keys bidding. One of the easiest forms of breaking. And as you can see, standard pins, pretty much quite easy. Uh, it also goes down to your tolerances and your tensioning, like all picking. 
but once you move on to security pins, it does make it a lot more difficult to try and rock. But for majority of locks, the you know you can get quite easily. A lot of them just have your standard pins, and it is really fun to rock. Uh, but as I was saying, you know, extreme bidding will make your life rocking a lot harder. And when I talk about extreme bidding, I mean stuff like that. <laughs> that will take you a month of Sundays trying to rock, probably, to uh, pick. But there you go. Rocking, one of my favourite methods of raking and you can pop open a lot of master locks with it so hopefully that'll help you out a little bit and next sunday i will be going over and doing the scrubbing raking so your most common type of raking that you see a lot of people doing and all the different methods and styles of doing that but anyway, as always, always follow the codes, keep Lock Sport legal, you know, don't get doing anything stupid. Uh, don't forget to check out locksmithstoolbox.com if you're after great equipment at very competitive prices. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so that you can stay up to date. As you know, I try to make two to three to four videos per week, depending on work and everything else that I've got going on. Uh, don't forget to come and join us on Discord, the Extraordinary League of Pickers. Absolutely fantastic community, I cannot recommend that enough. Absolutely awesome. Uh, don't forget you can find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I will put up posts and photos of what's going on and all the fun stuff that happens around here. Uh, if you want to get in contact with me, you can contact me through any of the social medias or Discord or send us an email at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com and I'll get back to you. Uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And until next time, cheers guys and rock on. <laughs>